Hey guys, welcome to the Cardis, and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the Devo Blades Blood Metal Silver Gilded Edges deck. This is a really, really cool deck that I got from UK Magic Tricks. Really, really cool, and I will provide the link for their website in the description below. Or to this deck if they still have it in stock, but I highly doubt it because it's a quite rare deck. Also, I'm a good friend of Devo, so I have a load of his decks to review. So if you'd like to name one, I could I will get that definitely reviewed for you. I have the Pro XCMs and the and then Magicians Must Die deck, so let me know which deck you would like to see it reviewed. So straight here on the front it has you know his signature there in silver foil and it has this line these dots that go around this um, ninja star really really cool and it's embossed and it's reflective in silver foil. In red foil it has blood metal and there is uh, there is a bit of ink on it actually. Blood metal and it has this uh, kind of like pattern there on the front of the box. On the side it has Devo Blade Blood Metal Edition and then it has silver gilded edges edges okay on the bottom it has manufactured by the United States playing card company and then on the back it has a picture of the back design it has this really nice black going around with this red with kind of these ninja stars all the really really cool with the weapons and stuff to form the back design it looks absolutely amazing really really cool and on the top it has blood metal there as well you pop open it has a ninja star there and the rest of it inside is white it will be nice if they painted it black but that's just my personal opinion okay just place that there. You can see that it's silver edges. What that means is there's a reflection to the way they print it on the side. So you get this silver edges to it. So you can see there's a reflection. If I go the whole way through, there's a reflection of the light. So that is the whole way through there. So what you receive is basically the same as the other deck. It's just this has got the silver gilded edges to it. You receive a card that goes to his website, devobladeshandslords.com. Okay, and then you get the back design. As you can see, it has a white border going around. A quite a thin one, so good for fans. And it has chipped corners. So as you can see there, it isn't actually like circle. It kind of chips there, and that is quite you know quite quite um, quite regular with uh, gilded decks, gilded edges decks. So really cool. And like light red, like the stars and stuff. Really really cool. I like the back design there. The new silver blank card on the same back design, really, really cool. Blank cards are always good for, you know, making uh, to the spectators a deck to look like it's um, not there. So then you can print a deck, as I like to do. And then you receive two jokers. You receive one joker, and he's got his sword that's going down with the Hands Lord logo there. Same with this one, but he's got his sword there, and then the other one, he's got his sword pointing out. So it's really, really cool. I like them a lot. Then you receive the rest of the cards. So you get the spades then the hearts, then the clubs, and then the diamonds. There isn't like a 100% custom to this because it is signed up like still bicycle cards, but it's really cool. It has the ace of spades and it's like this eagle that is ripping out with its claw, really cool with snakes there. And it has the ace of spades, like bicycle pips there going the whole way through, it's just these bicycle standard pips. Then you get to the rules and they've done a bit of color changes, they've gone to the black and red and it's really, really cool, fits the theme of the deck, fits the back design as well. Then you get the hearts, the hearts are exactly the same as well, they get the same coloration to them, and then the hearts are exactly the same with a, like kind of a darker red, not too bright, but more of a darker deep burgundy red to fit the colour of the back design. The clubs are exactly the same as the spades, you know, same coloration to them, really, really cool, and they're same, you know, bicycle cl ace of clubs and stuff, uh, just standard there. And then it gets to the diamonds, and the diamonds are basically the same as the hearts, there's nothing really too, you know, there's nothing too custom to go over. So the handling for the deck, because most decks don't have silver gilded edges on it, so look, how does it handle? For dribbles, um, I have used this a little bit, it does dribble um, okay, uh, it's not the best obviously, uh, obviously when you get into it, when you get when, the first time when you get out of the box it's really hard, but after a while of use, it really really does you know, dribble quite nicely. It does take some time, it's not like quite a nice free flowing one, but it does, you will get the hang of it. A spring is really easy, they feel really light in the hand when you do a spring with them. Really, really cool. When you do a fan, it does a fan quite well for a deck that's been printed on the sides. And it does make a really nice looking fan as well. And it's really, really cool, you get like a bit of a reflection there. And it's just really, really awesome. A ripple shuffle, no problem that whatsoever. Quite easy and it's much easier and it's kind of more of a softer, like when it goes down, that like shuffles itself. It's really, really cool and easy, as you can hear. 
a shut, like a flip over in the deck, a spread is good, a spread's good, and you know if you want to turn it over it's good as well, really quick and fast. Spreads in the hand are great as well, you know, cuts in the hands are great. I know you guys are going to say everything's great, but they're printed by the USPCC, so they tend to be great, apart from the Mavericks, but uh, I don't know why, I think it's just the stock of them. Referrer Shuffles, it does that, kind of, but obviously it's, it's quite harder because it's got painted on the edges, and then if you went to go do a giant fan, it can perform one. Obviously, not. Yeah, so basically it can still do a giant fan, but obviously not as best as the other ones. One hand ripple shuffle. Easy peasy, everything else is a piece of cake with this deck, really really cool, I do like it, you know, one handed Charlier cut, you know, you can do double lifts with this deck, well, that wasn't a double lift, that's a double lift, colour changes are very easy, but you can kind of hear them, um, so you can hear, if I let be quiet, so you can kind of hear them because they're a little bit thicker on the sides. But other than that, it's a really, really cool deck. And I'll leave the link in to uh, UK Magic Tricks in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you click subscribe just up there. And check out my previous video just up there. And make sure you give the video a like. And check out the survey in the description to give me your information on what you think of the channel. And tell us how to improve. I'm sorry if there's any mistakes in this video. I've been so busy at work and stuff. It's been incredible. I'm still trying to run this channel as best I can. At the same time, it being at work 9 till 5. Uh, and then getting back and then doing college work and being at college full time. So it's just a lot of work that I've got going on in my life. And just to make it up to you, I've got a very special video coming Sunday. So look forward to that. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey Goodbye. guys, thanks for watching that video. Uh, if you don't mind, why don't you give the video a like, just down there somewhere. Uh, the reason I ask you guys to like the video is because it shows your support to my channel. It shows us that you like the videos we put out, the decks we review. You can show your support in different ways. You can hit subscribe if you haven't already. You can click the like button that's just down there. Or you can actually go in the description of every single video and there is a survey you can fill out. Uh, and it, tell us, it tells us how to improve our channel. If you're not happy with something, then we would like to improve it. So if you don't mind filling that survey, it would help us out a lot. So if you don't mind, that'll be perfect for us. So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.